Hey guys, what is going on? Dylan here. What I got for you today is another build video. We're going to be taking a look at a prismatic hunter build uh, that's all about survivability and it's all about just constant invisibility and damage resistance. It's a pretty, pretty tough build. Uh, it's going to feature the exotic Gifted Conviction, which has the perk Gift of Certainty, which when you use Ascension, it's going to throw these bouncing explosives around that jolt enemies giving you damage resistance based on the amount of enemies that you jolt. Normally with a build like this, I would suggest Risk Runner or Trinity Ghoul, but those don't actually work with Gifted Conviction, so the jolt from those weapons don't actually count towards your stacks of resistance. What does work are weapons with Volt Shot, like the Aculus FSMG, uh, Nation of Beast, Posterity is one of them, or my personal favorite, Indebted Kindness, which I'm sure you guys have seen or heard about that weapon. Uh, you can get it from the Warlord's Ruined Dungeon, and I would strongly suggest getting one with Beacon Rounds and Volt Shot. Very, very, very good. Or Lead from Gold is also good. Um, now, how this looks, you can see there, I just used Ascension and I have Resist times 2 on the left-hand side. Uh, so every time that you jolt an enemy, you're going to get resistance. The way that you continuously recharge that, it'll always rebuff up to 10 seconds, is by continuously jolting enemies. Uh, so what I would do is going into a group of enemy, use your Ascension, get your Resist, use your Indebted Kindness, get one kill, reload it, get your Volt Shot, and then start killing enemies with that Volt Shot. And just continuously build that stack of Resistance, uh, and you can max that out at times four, and every time that you get a Jolt, it will reset that timer back up to 10 seconds, and gives you pretty good damage resistance. Not to mention the abilities that you have that are constantly making you go invisible. So here we're using, um, obviously, Ascension, works with Stylish Executioner, making you go invisible. We also have the, the, the Stasis Melee and Grapple. All of these abilities will make you go invisible as well. So you also have that kind of in your back pocket to just be constantly invisible for that extra survivability, whether that's you trying to solo dungeons or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Now, for the, the actual build itself, uh, we're going to be using the Deadfall uh, Super. Uh, as I said, the Stasis Super, the Withering Shuriken or whatever. Grapple, Ascension, and of course, Stylus Executioner. And so that is the cool thing. All of these abilities, every single one of them feeds into Stylus Executioner. So whether it's Ascension, Grapple Melees, uh, the Melee Ability, or the actual Super, they all feed into Stylus Executioner. So you will proc that with literally every ability. Uh, for the Fragments, we're going to be using Facet of Protection, Facet of Defiance, Facet of Solitude, Facet of Purpose, and Facet of Hope. Uh, Facet of Hope, while you have an elemental buff, you're going to get your uh, class ability back faster, which we're always going to have that, whether it's Amplified, picking up orbs is going to give us an overshield, etc., etc. Facet of Purpose, picking up an orb, is going to give us an overshield since we're using Avoid Super, so that works really nicely with Facet of Hope. Facet of Solitude, uh great for the precision damage facet of defiance finishers will also make you go invisible and then facet of protection just kind of working with the build for that extra survivability um and yeah so how i would play this build out is uh just big groups of enemies run in there use your actual um ascension ability it's gonna jolt everything in that area so you can see here i'm running over to these enemies i'm gonna jump up use my ascension and just everything just bam um and if you pick up orbs uh we're gonna have uh, overshields as well, so I would strongly recommend, rec uh, recommend using something like uh, Kinetic Siphon Mods or Arc Siphon Mods if you're going to be using a lot of uh, Arc Weapons. Um, just things that create orbs so that when you pick them up, it's going to give you that Void Overshield. And then for the actual mods, I just... Anything that gets you your abilities back faster is kind of what I'm focusing here. Um, you know, uh, Momentum Transfer, Invigoration, Innervation, things like that. Just how whatever abilities you want to use more put mods into those to get those back. And then the only one I would recommend is just siphon mods in the helmet. Um, alternatively, you can use things like combination blow and all that to get your melee or your uh, class ability back instantly. Um, but as always, these builds are just kind of a template things I want to share that I find cool. Obviously, I'm not saying this is the best variation or version of this build. Take it, make it your own, test some things out, see how you like it. That's what I always recommend. So um, I will, of course, put the actual link for my build in the comments down below on the dim link for it. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Love you all. Bye.